Tell you, Alex, you look at the skies here, it's going to start raining any second. And that is really increasing the urgency of this relief effort with so many homes with roofs that were damaged or destroyed. You drive around a place like Laplace, which was so hard hit, the lucky homes are the ones that have those blue FEMA tarps already put uh, over them. And we spent the morning with one of the groups doing this important relief work. You can see them behind me, the Miniman Disaster Response Group. Uh, They have been going around home to home. They've gotten more than 3,000 requests for help, but they can only do three or four homes a day, even with multiple crews working on different shifts. And that just speaks to the scope of the challenge here, especially when you have a lot of residents, like some of the ones we saw here today, who are elderly, who can't do this work themselves, even if they wanted to. Uh, And I spoke to the head of the organization. This is what he told me about why that is such a challenge. That's why it's so important. Um, you know, even if even if people give supplies, money, resources, there's still it takes the manpower. It takes that individual to come in and uh, help them with their needs and take time to talk to them and show them that there is, you know, light on the other side, that the recovery process uh, is going to be slow. It's going to be hard for this area, uh, but we can make uh, a difference, you know, one family at a time just by getting in front of them listening to their needs and helping them sort out their priorities. And Alex, as if these folks aren't facing enough already, you talk about the weather. There is another tropical disturbance currently heading into the Gulf of Mexico. About a 30 percent chance that could turn into at least a tropical depression set to hit Louisiana, possibly sometime next week. So even with this massive recovery underway right now, a lot of folks bracing for potentially even more damage in the coming days. Oh, gosh, I hadn't heard that yet. So you delivered some pretty tough news there. Thank you very much. So for the heads up, Josh, I appreciate